Hey everyone and welcome back. If this is your first time watching, welcome to my channel anyways. So today we're going to be taking a look at the 10 songs competing to represent Denmark at Eurovision in the competition Dansk Melody Grand Prix. As always, my pronunciation disclaimer is in full effect and let's go ahead and hop into this top 10 list. Number 10, Riot by Dita Marie. I'm gonna fight it, fight it, fight it. If they ever try to divide us, ever keep us apart, I'll start a riot, riot, riot. Riot, riot, riot. First thing, I do like Dita Marie's voice. However, the song itself does seem like it's a lot of chorus and not enough of verse. The other issue I'm having with the song is that the chorus is at like a volume of 10 while the verses are very low and the production just seems to be going for noise rather than music. That makes the song overall pretty weak for me. Number nine, Angels to My Battlefield by Sandra. And This one seems like it's going for an epic quality, uh, like an epic cinematic movie quality to it, but it's just not reaching that. I also feel like I'm listening to something from a contemporary Christian radio station. Like if you told me this song was what was playing over top of a battle field, like a medieval religious movie, I, I would believe you 100%. There's another song in the contest as well that does go for this epic cinematic sound, but I feel does better. So that being said, this one does rank a bit low. Eight, Music for the Road by Albin Freddy. Watch your back, Netherlands. Denmark is coming for you with some country vibes. This isn't bad, and honestly, it's better than a lot of the contemporary modern uh, country pop that I'm used to hearing on the radio. The whistle is a bit insidious, and it gets stuck in my head, and it makes me upset because I do not like whistling. So this is 100% my bias is probably I just, the whistling ruins this song for me, and it's definitely clouding my judgment. There's no way to get around it. Number seven, Standing Up for Love by Carlson. Another song with a country feel. The harmonies going on in this one are fantastic. The chorus is easy to sing along to, but there just seems to be something about this as well, where the chorus is what the main focus was and not a lot of thought and care were really put into the voices. The song does sound a bit more like background music in a romantic movie, like a romantic comedy than anything else. While I do like the vocals, they are not enough to bring the song forward and really stand out for me. Number six, Boys on Girls, Sunny. conflicted on this one. I'm liking the soft, sexy vocal delivery on one hand, but I'm also getting a midlife crisis sort of vibe from the other hand. And I'm terrified that with the staging, this will go too sexual, like vibes of like Jenna Maroney when she's dealing with her aging crisis on 30 Rock. So I, I'm a bit hesitant to really give this one my full go on. Number five, Starlight by Anna Ritzmar. No matter where we hide. for something completely different. The song sounds very sweet. Anna has a very innocent quality to her voice that lends itself well to this plucky little instrumentation on this love song. The song is very genuine and with the right staging, this could be a very charming overall package and performance. Number four, Hold Her Fast, E. Iganenten by Ricky Garner Tolstoy. sure 
why, but I'm genuinely surprised to hear a song in Danish in Denmark's national selection. Dansk Melody Grand Prix always seems to go for safe options for me rather than anything else, so hearing a song not in English does feel a little weird. However, that being said, the vocals do sound nice and clear, which is exactly what I would expect and what I would like to hear from this kind of electronic track. I would also like to hear more songs in Danish you know, actually go on with Denmark in the modern competition. There are some very pretty harmonies going on in the chorus. Ultimately, though, the song does sound like background music to me. Number three, Unfound La Simaling. Oh, our teenage... Won't let you break me down My love is still unfound My love is still Boy singing an acoustic song from the Danish national final, everyone. Well, this one stands out for not being about trying to get a girl's attention for the start. I'm honestly low key really feeling this because it has that bitter breakup vibe to it, and I feel like we don't get a lot of songs by male artists with a male point of view that are about a bitter breakup. It feels like those kinds of songs go to female artists and female musicians much more frequently. There's also something happening here musically that kind of makes me think of the Vampire Weekend, so I can't really knock it at all. Number two, higher down the rest of So I really like that this has a strong cinematic sound when I hear the song seeing like a video play out in front of my face. I close my eyes and I can see epic staging, I can see boats, I can see fog, I can see a forest. Like there's so many things happening here that I really like and the fact is that with really good staging this song could absolutely kill it. I am still shocked this is coming out of the Danish national selection because I did mention earlier I feel like Denmark has a lot of safe songs and makes a lot of safe choices in the contest. So I love this. I want to hear more things like this coming out of Denmark. And if this made it to Eurovision, I would not be the least bit angry, even if it's just my number two. Number one, Signals by Karui. So this song is doing a lot of stuff that I really, really like in music. It is mixing elements of different genres together in the music and in the vocal performance. Karui is giving us different vibes from different kinds of genres. Like that bass line has a touch of funk to it and you have this fragmented sound throughout the music that's keeping me interested and in what's going to come next. The vocals have a lot of um, uh, have a good mix as well to them. You're getting qualities that you would expect in R&B, jazz, and pop in that vocal performance. And I find myself wanting to listen to this song more and more and pick out all the little parts that make it come together as one package. So that being said, Kariri's song. That being said, Signals is my number one song for Dansk Melody Grand Prix. So those are my thoughts about Dansk Melody Grand Prix. If you liked the video, why not like, possibly subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll have a playlist on the screen with my Eurovision playlist and just stick around if you want more reviews from me that concern Eurovision. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.